pretty popular choice. Wow, wow, damn. Pretty far out of it then. I suppose you're lucky you have internet at least. <laughs> Ooh, let's drop the boy. Right, that'll do for white. I'm sick of white. I don't want to look at white ever again. Get them out of here. I don't want to look at white ever again. No more white paint, please. Don't make me do it. Please. Oh. What is the next step? Do we chip or do we modulate first? That's the question. I've got to silence my phone again. Keep getting texts by Papa Johns.
Oh, Amazon also said, we thought you'd like a new board game. No thanks, Amazon. I'm good. Let's mute you. <clears throat> Alright. I gotta look at the, um, the video I was watching before. Did he modulate first? I think he actually chipped first and then did the modulation. Interesting. I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. I think he did it both ways, probably. I think I might do the oil stuff first because I'm kind of more keen to do that. And if it looks good enough, we might not even need to do chipping, but I think we probably will. I think that's going to happen. Right. Uh you can probably go back in your uh back in your little protector. Thread the needle. And he goes. So where the real fun begins is yeah, I think that's what we'll do. What we could do now is like gonna put some little dabs of oil on. Then we're gonna sort of reverse highlight these panels. Um, I'm going to put like little dabs of oil paint on and then feather it in so it just makes it darker and then we'll create patches of darker bits and patches of lighter bits by doing that. Uh, so it should be pretty good, pretty good. Put this away for now because I'm not doing acrylic anymore, you don't need a wet palette for oils. Water and oil is not a good idea. Because they separate, they don't mix. <clears throat> Bring up the plates. It's got all the plates. Much less low tech. And I couldn't find a smaller plate that was clean. So that was that. That's why I have a plate. Let's just move the mouse aside because it's in the way. I'm running on my old white spirit as well, actually. More money I need to spend. Put a little drop in there. This is for cleaning brushes. Now let's see, do I need to weaken the oil first? Probably. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't like he does. He just splubs it on. So I'm gonna splub it on too. Right, hopefully this goes pretty well. Right, what's this? Is this black? It is. oil has come to the the oil that makes up the oil paint is all comes to the top of the tube I don't want to just A bit better, a bit better consistency. How long the oil paints last is sort of by themselves. I've not really done anything with them to help preserve them. Uh, I think I'm gonna like try the bomb where it's least noticeable, right? That's like best strat that they always recommend. This is like a nice panel here that's all at the bottom, so I'm gonna just try and just see how this goes. I need to mix this in a little bit.
use a little bit lighter than that. I think you just need to then just just rub it in. It's gone on a lot too thick there, I think. So I'm going to have to rub some of that off. That's fine, because you can do that with oils. And we need some white spirit. So I need to dry a little bit more, probably. I was a little soak in there a little bit, I think. Uh, if I get this a little bit wet with white spirit, I should just be able to. The window just pulled itself open. Can dab it on, and then that'll start breaking down the oil. Windy outside, it's pretty quite loud. I better shut the window again. <clears throat> Use a stiffer brush to rub this in a little bit because it's quite small detail. What I'll do is, you see, it's gone, it's gone way too much black, and it's just completely overwhelmed the white. Um, it is rubbing in. But what I'll do is rub a little bit off with the cotton bud.
So I know not to use so much black paint when I do the next panel now. So it's good that I tested that. Worked pretty good. Uh, and the good thing about oil is that with enough white spirit, you can basically completely remove it if you want. Um, so you'll be careful of the surface underneath. But uh, if you dab it on nicely, we should get like the pure white back from underneath, from the middle, which is what we wanted. It's also good because I think I want the bottom overall darker than the top, so it's getting a little bit difficult to remove it. If we try and just feather it off, see what we can do. The thing I don't want is just the whole thing to be grey. I kind of want specific light parts and specific dark parts. It's kind of just turned it all grey at the moment, so I definitely use too much black. That's why you test. Do another practice on the same side. Do far, far fewer this time. We'll just do a little. A little spot. That, that. More the bottom, less at the top. I think that works. It's a good method. I think if the panel thing doesn't work out, what I'll just do is go for like a gradual sort of blend from light to dark going down the model. Because these are quite small panels, so it's difficult to control the uh, feathering so much. 
Okay, I think that's still a bit wet. It might be a bit, yeah, a bit white spirit still on there. I don't want to completely rub it off, which is what I did. Um, Yeah, it looks a bit more like it. Let's try on this bigger panel. See what happens. Might put so much paint on the palette that I don't need. Oops. Oh well. Could use this brush now, maybe might be better. No, I think that's still that's still. I don't know why spirits once you get it on the brush, it takes a while to get it off the brush again. That's why usually you have a feathering brush that you don't typically. I would say you probably don't use white spirit on until you finish for the day. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have that, don't have that luxury. Do some go for some drips, or at least drag the oil downwards so it looks like gravity taking an effect.
that panel there is kind of looking more like what we want. You can see the white more in the middle and the dark is more to the uh, to the lines the uh, where the panels join together. Which is pretty much what we're going for, so that's pretty good. I think um help if I had another cup, I think, with just pure white spirit in, so I'm not cleaning with the dirty stuff. So I'm just gonna grab another mug. Fucking mug collection, bro. Am I right? Put that there for now. So, red one is for clean brushes, the white one will be clean stuff for cleaning the model itself. Ah, what a long hair from. Gassed out from White Spirit Fumes. Oi. Hopefully a few more hours. <laughs> so I've not made much progress yet. Right, this one's dirty. I'm going to yeet that in the bin. So let's see how this works using some fresh, pure White Spirit. Hi, let's just work our way through these uh through these seams, I guess. So actually, before I do that, what I might do is get a bit of the black put over here. Then um, just actually just mix a bit of this in. Just want to make a bit of a watery bit, a bit more runnier version. that across the top uh, while I went for that I want to do that to dry a tiny bit Oops. 
is way too much. Uh, it's just to be drying pretty quick, it's oiled. Quicker than normal. Maybe it's because I um, didn't mix with any white spirit on the palette. So maybe I'll just try and do that, make it a bit more workable. Um, let's see if we can get that to sort of come down a little bit now. That might still be a little bit wet. Yeah, the jazz is getting to me a little bit. I think I'm going to swap to Dream Synths. Everyone's favourite. Oh, yeah. It's just got a lot more epic, my dudes. Working on creating, as you can see, under the the lip of like the roof, the red bit. I'm just working on making it look like there's uh, it's kind of dripping down because that's somewhere where like filth would sort of accumulate and then drip down. You know, like water, whatever. Not that it rains much in the underhive, but you know, God knows what else is raining down. Just just soak up a little bit of the white spirit because it's gone quite runny. Just a little bit. It's not too bad. I do. There's. Uh...
Again, it does seem to be drying kind of quick. Which, uh, I probably should use the other end. That pointy, you sort of stab with the pointy end, right? Uh, yeah, it's drying kind of quick. I don't know if it's because this is on wood rather than non plastic, which I used to use them for. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's drying out pretty swiftly. Sort of looking like drips on this side, which is nice. Just trying out, it's difficult. Probably the middle is the worst part. I think these beam bits are stopping me from really like feathering properly with the brush, which doesn't help. I could feather it sideways, but then it won't look super uh, like it's coming down. I want to drag it down. So maybe we'll go for a little tiny bit more. Some little drips have come up down here, which is really nice, actually. And the art of getting these is just to get them really straight in line with gravity. Unreal has arrived. He's awake.
Pom Pods has proven a little bit better than actually the paintbrush, to be fair. For moving the paint around. Normally I use these to take paint off when I wanna when I've done too much, but not doing an awful job of just spreading stuff around either. I want everything to just go down. Just go down to the bottom. Where you belong. Oh, the old headbutt the mic, classic. So that's what we got so far, guys. This is what we're looking at. It's looking very dirty, very grungy. Uh, it's a bit too grey at the bottom. There's not, I need, I want more, a bit more white. Sort of in the centre of the panels. And it's proving difficult to get it off now. But that is where uh, I just threw loads on earlier. So, overall not terrible. I think I'm going to add a few other colours just to sort of uh, make it interesting to look at. Eventually I'm going to add the rust as well. Um, what browns do I have? I'm going to go with brown, but that's the browniest brown I have. The others are like practically black anyway. Just to give it a bit of variation. Oh god damn, I did the lid up on this one tight. It's such a small lid, you can't really get your hand on it. <clears throat> uh, let's have a look at this boy. Splodge used way too much of that. It looks like a tiny bit. I mean, it feels like a tiny bit. But then actually... Um, I think I borrow a bit of ink, more a bit of white spirit from there, and just drop it on this. Just to mix that in because it's quite thick. And hopefully, if we mix it in before we put it on, hopefully we won't have the problem of uh, it becoming difficult to move if it's already quite thin. It should move around, take longer to dry out. Still kind of clumpy, so maybe I'll add a bit more. I just don't want to get so runny it becomes literally a wash. Which this sort of has become. Ah, it's, an, it's an okay texture. It's an okay consistency. These colours are a little bit separated. Trying to like get it back in, and it's just going. Nope, I'm gonna spread out and do my own thing. So I'm gonna clean, just get a load of paint off the brush. Looks like literal feces, which isn't always the one, but that I'll have to do. Clean the brush off. Yeah, we got way more paint than we could possibly need for this, so uh, that's fine. So I'm just going to try and do a similar thing and just, uh, how's this going to, yeah, this is a lot runnier, but we'll see how that happens. Well, we can just let it dry a little bit on the model. Just a few splodges here and there. And then we'll just blend them in with the black, just to give it a bit of uh, because it's kind of like two tones at the moment. This will just give it another color that's sort of 
Brown's kind of like a dark. This is this white I've used is a very warm white, which is kind of like a very very bright brown in a weird way. So brown is kind of like a naturally darker version of it. Uh, it's a weird weird to think that brown is dark black uh, white, but that's kind of like how I see it. With my eyes anyway. <clears throat> just sort of like let that horror dry out a little bit. Just under the light, I'm. Man, this does not uh, do well with light, does it? <laughs> it looks like my entire arm is just glowing. It does not look anything like that in real life, I promise you. Uh, I am not the messiah. Uh, that I know of, anyway. Let's just flick these down and get some nice little brown bits. Bit of extra dirt to it always looks good so this is actually blended quite nicely this is this is what I should have done with the black I think is really have watered it down on the palette and then put it on rather than put it on basically straight from the bottle I think that was my critical mistake Yeah, it's blended in much nice, much nicer, much nicer indeed. I'm kind of using the brown more as like less of just a general color modulation and more for just like kind of making like drips and stuff appear, which is pretty nice actually. In fact, I might even use a little bit more just to offset this big area of gray that we've accidentally built up. Um, I'm going to start putting some. I haven't really put any around these. So under the... Under where these uh, these beams sit, you would obviously get a lot of like grime and stuff building up there. So I'm going to try and get rid of that too. And then I'll show the camera in a sec what we got, what we're looking at. Um... It is difficult for me to paint and show you what I'm doing, unfortunately. Um, I would like to get uh, another camera, that would be good. If I could have another camera that's like, you could have this view and then in the corner just like a camera like sort of here, just looking at the model so you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it, that would be sweet. That would be a really nice setup, but that's money, that's money. Things cost money, unfortunately. I have everything for free. So, uh, okay, it's difficult to get in with the feather brush there, so we're gonna use a different brush, which actually is a bit still wet, but that's okay. This one might be a bit might be a bit dry. I don't know. Maybe question mark. Man, the weather it the weather we've been having like on and off storms all week here in uh, in the UK or at least in the southwest anyway. I don't know what is going on, but this morning it was like a really nice day. It was sunny. I was like, oh, this is feels you know very like spring like, and then, boom. It's pitch black and pissing down rain outside. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Which 
you gonna do? What? What you gonna do? But you know, just talking about the weather, just British things. Just British things. This is looking very disgusting, which is exactly what I wanted. I paired it pristine white, and then now we have a grimy little hut coming along. It's looking really, really nice. Uh, you can't super see it that well, actually. Uh, how do I? <laughs> so I can. If I hold it here. Yeah, you can probably see it better than if I hold it up to the camera. You can sort of see. You can't. Fortunately, the camera isn't. Doesn't look like it's super picking up the. Um, let see what it looks like full screen. Yeah, you can kind of see the colours a little bit, but it kind of just looks like grey at the moment, but there's, uh, there's some brown mixed in there too. There's some brown in there too. Just because the brown's gone nicely, I'm just gonna. I'll do the classic thing of where I was like, oh, that looks nice, and then I just do too much and ruin the whole thing. The standard. The standard, but you know. This is the first one. We've got four more to paint after this. We can. We can fuck around. We can practice. Right? Let's try to paint a little bit. The light. Holding the light of God, as usual. <clears throat> Having an old old style bulb is quite good for drying stuff quickly. Um, although LED would give actually probably more actual good light. Uh, yeah, let's just blend this in. I'm actually using a makeup brush as well for blending. How meta is that? Down, go down. We don't want to go sideways. Or do we? Maybe we do. Go in the direction you want. Yep, walking on the side. Make another enemy. This is how it goes. Alright, so a little bit of uh, rust, shall we? Or shall we leave the rust till I do the chipping? Mm, questions, questions. Should we maybe try a bit of chipping? So I'm going to use this brown. This is Typhus Corrosion from Games Workshop. Or I should say from Citadel, which is owned by Games Workshop. So basically the same thing. Uh... This is something I'm not. Well, I've tried this before. Man, it is hammering outside. Jesus, sorry. I know you came here for uh, painting, but you're gonna get weather updates as well. I'm afraid. I need to find some uh, a bit of foam. So give me two seconds. I have some. Everywhere. 
I'm back. So I'm going to try some foam and basically dabbing it on with a bit of this. If that doesn't work, though, I also have some sponge, but I'm hoping this is more... will give finer, uh, finer specs. The sponge like, might give, like, bigger specs that look less realistic. I think you want... I think you want them, like, kind of as small as possible for... Then the smaller, the, the more realistic it looks. But I want to create, make it look nice and like rough. So we don't want it to look even. That's the problem with the foam as well. The foam is quite consistent. So it might just look a bit too, uh, a bit too, really, uh, not realistic, the opposite, the opposite realistic, artificial. Words are hard. All right, we'll try with this. We'll try. Um, what you can do. So they tell me on YouTube is uh. Just use a pair of tweezers and then you've got yourself a dabbing tool. So I will, I've used this quite recently, I'll give it a shake anyway. It's quite runny, it's very runny this, it's like almost a wash. But you don't want to wash it on, you want to use it quite sparingly I find. Um, yep, 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 yep. Move this towel for now. So we're just gonna dab the foam. Actually, I might tear this in half because it's a bit large. We're gonna dab the foam in the paint, get a decent amount on, but then we're gonna remove most of it. So there's quite a lot on there. But then so you don't want to just splodge on like that because it'll look terrible. That's like just a round splodge. You want to like actually use up quite a lot of the paint. Till it looks like that. I might have even taken too much off, but that's not a problem. Not having enough on there is much less of a problem than having too much. I'll practice on this side just to see what that looks like. Yeah, it's the specs are tiny, which looks good. I don't think, even if I showed the camera, I don't think you'd be able to see it. But that's good. That's a good sign. So I'll do that again. Get rid of the blob. The blob. The blob. 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 Um, and then I use a bit more paint this time. So I'll dab that on like that. You want to focus like edges, mostly, because that's where the chipping would take place, where it comes into contact with things, to like the raised points and edges. So we're gonna do the top side of uh, these bars. There we go across the window like this, and the uh, the ledge here as well. And then like the the very bottom, I'm gonna go along. And you can probably maybe see, maybe not, probably not actually. If I shot there, will it focus in properly? Yeah, there you go. 
Oh, it went. It had it for a second. There you go. You can see the speckly bits, which are like the paint chips. Yeah, that's coming along nicely. Coming along real nice. Real nice indeed. So that's probably enough chipping, actually, for that. It's probably as much as you want. Maybe I want to do a bit more where the, like, f the fan is. And round these like two bullet holes as well. Would probably chip the paint, I imagine, having a bullet hole through it. Yeah. Let's try out the inside of this window a little bit. And the corners of these would actually be chipped too. That was a bit of a bad dab there. Yeah, nice. Nice. You don't want to go too overboard with it because you don't. You want chip. You want it to be focused in areas. So I've, I've maybe done the classic thing of going, being like, oh yeah, that looks good, and then just fucking covering it in the chipping, which is not ideal. Um, but I will go a bit harder in the side areas. These hard corners here, I want, like, wouldn't look terrible if they were completely brown. Just kind of what you want. It's really, get a really pronounced effect in some bits, but then you want, you definitely want areas that aren't chipped. For that realism, that realism, so I shut that for now. Man, this is, uh, is that two hours and we've done one wall? One wall. It looks good though. I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Uh, I was a bit worried at one point, but I'm starting to love it. I'm starting to love it. So let's see this. Right, so now we're going to do, this is just an orange. Much more, much more sensible with the amount of paint we're putting on the palette this time. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just add a whole nice, decent amount of white spirit to that. Uh, I wouldn't need so much because I've used a lot of paint. But let's see. We'll put two drops in. Probably use another drop. Oops. Well, the syringe is now covered in paint. It has paint in it, which is not the best. Roll him around on there and dry him off. <laughs> oh, right, mix that in. Ah, there we go. I think we have the consistency. So kind of runny, not like watery runny, but not. Hard to explain, I guess. But it looks like it could be acrylic, basically, at this point. Uh, I'm just going to rub off the excess paint on my brush. Six hours to go, plus roof. Yep, that's it, I'm out. We're doing a 24-hour stream. Um, so I hope you're ready for some entertainment. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this is the same as what I did with the brown. Areas that would be rusty would be where water gathers. Which is like usually sort of in recesses and like underneath objects as well. Like, and then probably also on top. If water's dripping down, it's going to pull there. And where it pulls, it's going to create rust. And then it's going to drag that 
it's going to drip off and it's going to drag that orange rusty colour with it around the sides. Um, and we'll put, we'll rust up some of these, the uh, slats and we'll make the bullet holes rusty and we'll just put, you know, a couple of bits on the sides and just here and there because rust, rust finds us, rust finds a way, it's like life but like the opposite of life, it's kind of like death but for, for metal Okay, looks nice. Oh no, no one put it in there. Bollocks. That was the clean stuff. Oh well. Can always put more clean stuff in for now. Well, I'll clean the brush. Doing a bit of uh, multitasking here. Gonna clean the brush and dry the paint in the l under the heat. Wow, how does he do it? How does he do all these things at once? And it takes more. How does he do all these things at once and yet still take so long to do them? Oh, I've got fucking bits of foam everywhere now. They can go in the bin. In the bin. Right, now to um just brush these down. So these wanna look like drips, so we're just gonna go straight down on all of them. If they go a bit funny, you can sort of just brush to the side and uh, straighten them out a little bit. But you can always just wash them off and just do them again. It's hard to get that one in there, so we're going to use this brush again to just drag that down. With a brush like this, it should be easy to create straight lines, he says, and then immediately doesn't do that. We'll just drag the paint out because it's still a little, got a little bit of white spirit in it. I'm going to do the same here because it's difficult to get the, the feathering brush in. Uh, although it looks pretty good already, to be fair. Gonna just water. We don't want it to just look like it's orange, like it's been painted orange. We want the. We want it to kind of be a bit faint in these areas, and then you want it to like blend into the white. So you want it to make it look realistic. You also don't want it to go up. You don't want it to go up the model. Because. Uh, it... Yeah, you want your drips to go down for for obvious reasons really because rust unlike dirt um which is like the brown and the black is kind of like dirt and stuff the rust is a specific thing so we need to kind of make it look like how it would look Dirt you can just muck around because it can just spread and stuff, but rust will be in like particular areas. saying that the rust there is almost gone completely f faint so you can't even see it I think uh, as you take a bit of the rust but when you want it to pull you just make it you just you just pull it it's as easy as that so you just uh, 
we take our we take a little dab we'll add a uh, white spirit to it this will make it very runny and then if we just put that use that for the top it should be runny enough that it actually runs on the model and then goes where it should go and even if it doesn't it'll be easy enough to remove because it's so uh, so runny but yeah that's come out pretty good uh, man I really shouldn't put that orange brush in there I'll uh, decant that into that one Normally I would just go wash this out, but you know, God forbid I'm not on screen for like two whole minutes, right? What do you guys look at? I'm the fucking eye candy. Who cares about the model, right? You're just here to look at me. Specifically my fat belly. And not my face. <laughs> right, that's uh, a little bit more white spirit. Oh man, I just got a dose of fumes there. Oh, that's the good stuff. Running very low on uh, Holy Spirit, so I'm using this very sparingly. <clears throat> Cause uh, <clears throat> what am I gonna drink if I run out of Holy Spirit? Let's use a cotton bud this time. Now it might be wet enough that we don't need to put any white spirit on it. We can just try, we can just sort of rub it around, get it, feather it around a little bit. It reminds me actually the scheme. If any of you are uh, follow uh, kind of like any sort of hobbying, like Warhammer related stuff, especially if you're on like the Reddit, the Reddit, um, there's a quite popular scheme for tyranids, which is based on a coconut crab. And coconut crabs have like they're kind of like white, they have like white shells with like speckling on, which is ranges from like very dark, almost black speckling to like orangey speckling and those are basically basically the exact same colors that I've used here for this so it is, it's reminding me of that a little bit just uh, removing some where this orange is uh, smudged in a bit in the wrong direction just trying to get rid of as much as possible of it push it back in the right direction down stuff to go down not up maybe the music is what changed it maybe like because I feel like the jazz was I was kind of like ah oh, is this going well I don't know if this is going well and then we put the synth wave on and then bam Things start happening. Nice. Catch a load of this. Can't super see that that well, but I did see it focus for a second. There you go. You can see that. You can see that boy. Oh boy, he focused. Oh boy, he focusing. cool I like the, look at the difference now as well between the two sides so that's what we started with versus what we have now like the difference is color is huge but that's that's exactly what we wanted because that that like white and red would just look ridiculous it's far I mean you could do leave it like that if you really wanted and we're doing being lazy about it but 
it wouldn't really fit in with the theme of Necromunda where everything's like gross, everything's dirty and rusted and sort of breaking down and everyone's all miserable. Kind of like real life really. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this has come out. Went a bit overboard in some places with the chipping, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So which toast do we do next? Should we move on to this one? This one looks interesting. This one's got a very interesting shape. It's got like a hexagon in the middle. Those bolts will be good for like having drips coming out of. That's like perfect. Uh, and there's not too much detail. There's another vent in the corner. But we'll... Uh, We'll get to that, right? So this time we need to just just do a little a little bit of a squirt. We need to massively water down this black. I don't know. This black might have dried on the palette a little bit. Uh, oh no, it's good. Oh, it's good. So let's see. Okay, that's watered down too much. But luckily we have tons of black that we accidentally squirted out, so we can mix that in. You see the palette okay? Yeah, you can see it. It's, it's difficult when you look at it black because it's just it's just a void of colour. You can't really see why how what the consistency is. Even I can't really see it that well from where I am. Um but I think we're getting it I think we're at a good consistency similar to the brown here, so <clears throat> I believe we shouldn't have too much problems getting rid of the we're gonna have too much grey on this one. Uh remove the excess. Yeah, you can see it's it's come out similar to how the orange has come out, so that's good. Um, yeah, and we'll just do the same as last time. We'll uh, dab it on until we'll start with this underneath here. Um, do a couple of bits around. There. And then we'll, we'll do a bit more at the bottom so the bottom looks dirtier. So there's a fair amount on there, but it's a lot more watered down than the last time. So it should mix around much better. Let that dry a little. So it starts. The thing about paint with oil, right? It just looks crap to begin with. You kind of have to make it look more crap before you get the effect because it just looks like it looks like a Dalmatian at the moment. But we'll we'll sort that now. Really need to let it dry that much. It's pretty dry already by the looks of it. Might even need to put more white spirit on. Man, I don't know why the black is like this and the other colors aren't. Maybe it's like the black is. I mean, blacks typically have like a lot of uh, a lot of pigment. It's very easy to make a black paint that just obscures everything. Um, I'll be careful not to just rub black everywhere. It's a, then ruin the white. Um, <clears throat> rather than going down with the black, we kind of just want to smudge it in. We just want to smudge it in. Uh, yeah, I think I think we could have used even more white spirit on that black. But uh, we can put some on the model and fix that. Uh, try and keep the black to. Um, the sort of seams between like the metal plates that this is built out of. I'm using like a circular motion to kind of like smudge it in as good as possible. Uh, but for the roof bit, I'm gonna do more of a, just a downward pattern for that. 
Again, that's like super. I can't really get to it that well. I use the. Uh... Oh, okay. This one was soaking wet with uh, white spirit, so that's kind of just rubbed it off. But there was actually plenty of black paint in there. It didn't really matter. Anyway, we'll just sort of uh, spread it around a little bit. This is kind of what I did in the other one anyway. Then actually, I might just use this to weaken down these other bits as well when I'm at it. Break up those blobs. Yeah, man, the black's much, much stronger. Seems to be much less resistant to manipulation than the uh, the other colours I have. And, uh, I mean, those other colours, I mean, the orange is kind of bright, but... Maybe I, will, maybe I could try not using black. I kind of don't, I don't want to change it up now. But I've got other colours which are like... Rather than black, are very, very dark brown. Um, so I can maybe try that instead. See how they go. Alright, let's see. But then I don't want it to look different. on. Uh, each, I don't want the faces to look different from each other. Because I've used different colours, it's not really the it's not really the play I'm going for there. Um oh yeah, let's see if we can get some feathering on the top going on. Uh So it's all dragged down. I use the cotton bud and some white spirit to drag down the paint out of the recess at the top. What I brush is paint a bit further down and then just like brush, maybe brush it up into the seam, into the recess rather than <clears throat> trying to bring it down. But bring it down is obviously the more the more natural approach to it, and is more in keeping with the look. They were going for. Um, yeah, that's uh. Can I just wipe in the black off now, which is. So get rid of these blob shapes that refuse be very stubborn, refuse to blend in properly. They're not awful, but we don't want we kinda want more just modulation rather than like, this is more this is more like what we want the rust to like, where we, you've got like a defined shape. With the black we kinda just want an area that's darker than the rest, that's what we're using it for. That's plus in the middle, it's just, it's like bang in the middle, I've managed to do it. And it's like, nope, I refuse to move around. You're not gonna manipulate me. And then, actually I've kind of like, I have kind of got rid of it now. I just Thanos snapped him out of existence there. 
turns out all you needed was a lot of white spirit on a combo and a pretty strong dabbing motion to get rid of him. Come on, off you come, you bastards. You bastards. Maybe let's try a little bit of experimentation here. Let's add a bit more white spirit to that to make it really runny. It's basically the same consistency as a. Uh, just put that there. That's like this is like super spread out across the sheet, uh, across the the face. We'll just let that dry in a little bit because I don't want it. I don't want it to look weird. It's maybe a bit too wet now. Yeah, so I put it there, and you, that has blended in quite well. So uh, I guess I just needed even more white spirit, even more of it, as if that wasn't enough already. Um, so let's just add a couple of drips here and there. Oops, that was a bit too thick, I think. Let's try this, see where this goes. But there was way too thick. I don't know why I put so much. Just kind of turned the brush sideways, and it did like a big splodge around than like a fine line. And beans that a little bit. Man, it's even it's crazy how stubborn the black is. It just does not want to go, even with all that white spirit in there now. A little, you got you see little, little tiny, tiny, tiny drops. Um, you have to waste spread the brush up a little bit to solve. I use this if I don't hold it and use a bit more steady with the brush. So this brush seem, does seem to, the white spirit does seem to get in there, does the job, kind of just erases them. I probably put way too much white spirit on my brushes, but actually, 
it's proving to be quite useful with the stubborner black just having some sort of white spirit just in there seems to do the trick Well, that'll do for black. Let's do a little bit of brown. I'll add a little bit of white spirit because it might have dried out a bit. With a no, more brush. Mix that boy in. Just like random bits. a little bit to there as well hopefully the brown is good to me again and mixes in blends in with much less resistance resistance yeah see that brown no problems at all If anything, it was too, too wet, I think. Let's smudge him in a bit more.
nice. Can use a bit more. I can just use like circular. Just want to create areas of like different color, but this I'll use for a bit more like actual drips. That's the idea anyway. That's not actually the right brush. <laughs> oh. That was supposed to be the feathering brush. And then I'll show you what I've got so far in a sec. Nice. Nice. All right. We need another bit of foam, which we have from last time. So much progress. Yeah, I know, dude. Well, I spent fucking ages doing just like this side. Hang on, let me hold this over there. Uh, is that going to focus in? Yeah, uh, focus a little bit. You can see like the chipping and uh, the weathering. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly what we were going for, um, but unfortunately, yeah, it is, it is a long old process. Uh, but we're getting there. One side down, almost on the second side, <laughs> then just two more sides, and then the roof. Easy, easy 12 hour stream. That should, that should be, uh, it's probably not speckly enough, if anything, but we'll dab that boy on. Mm, yeah, it's kind of a bit funny. This should be a bit better.
I don't think chipping's come out quite as good as on the first one this time. But, uh... Go hard on the sides. Where you'd have the most abrasive action. Oops. Gotta kinda not, not force the paint in, you kinda really want the speckly bits. Um, yeah. Maybe the shape of the foam wasn't as good for this one, but it's come out okay. There's a few blobby bits which you don't want, but mostly it looks pretty good. It's a difficult art getting it exactly right. That's a lot of paint actually uh, stored in this now. Yeah, it's a bit too faint now. Taking a bit too much paint off the, the foam. But that's pretty enough anyway. The other technique we can use is where you just uh, get the... Maybe I'll give it a try. You get like a brush uh, with... This would probably do it to be fair. And then you just get the uh, the paint, and then you just uh, like flick it like that. Didn't really do a lot, actually. Uh, that's probably a bit too much. It's more fun, even if it isn't uh, necessarily more effective. Uh, I think maybe with the <clears throat> with the right kind of brush, you can pull it off. I think it's a pretty good technique. Um, so wash this off. It's just acrylic that paint, so I can just wash it in this, which is just water. Very pink water. this stage uh, man. most of that ends up on your fingers anyway so it's probably a, a more refined way of doing it but uh right last color we'll do a bit of a bit of orange a bit of rust orange So we want we want the rust coming out of pretty much we could do all the bolts, but then it looks a bit too uniform, you know. So maybe we won't do all the bolts. We'll just do here and there. Places like where these plates meet would also be where. Rust gathers, and obviously, again, I'm doing in between, in between the seams. Anywhere that water would like gather. We'll do one up there. Okay, you kind of don't want it to look too uniform. You can you can be like, okay, I'm gonna do every single one. I'll do every single recess. I'll put it in. Um, but then it can look a little bit. Not a little bit artificial, then not source organic, you know. 
Um, but that being said, if you're going super over over the top, if you've got something that's completely rusted, then you know, like an abandoned tank or something, then that's that's probably what you want to do. But we're going with um, run down and broken, but not necessarily ruined or destroyed. Busted up. That's what we want. That's what we want. And we're just gonna drag it down into drips like this. It's not really dripping so much, so I'll just try and blend that one in a bit more. <clears throat> you can have a bit of area of rust, that's completely fine. I just prefer the rust mostly to be looking like it's dripping from something. Because rust will get in then where water builds up, and then when that water overflows or drips down, it will bring like the orange colour with it. And you'll get like drips of rust. That's basically what we're doing here, rather than actually rust, we're doing, I guess, rusty water more than rust so much. So it's gone a bit, a bit too wide there on that direct mark. Try and blend a little bit of this out because it's gone a little bit kind of just look like I'm painting it orange over here, which I don't want. So we can just sort of feather it out as they call it. Uh, I didn't probably, didn't probably drop some that um the other side weird, which I wanted to do. Have a nice drip in here. You can get it in. If you make it run enough, you can like kind of actually just naturally pull it in places, which looks pretty good. Um, and I might. Is this still? That's kind of dried out. There wasn't much paint in that, so not surprised. Um, try and get more paint in these recesses. <clears throat> Where's it gone? There it is. Again, if I take a bit of paint, kind of wore it down a little. Quite a lot with white spirit. Like basically, just make orange water at that point. Then I can just sort of drop it in, and it should take to the naturally follow the uh, the recesses like a wash basically is what you're doing just put that here and there it won't work too much on the darker parts but um it looks pretty good because there's still some white in the seams put it on there so it actually shows up uh it looks pretty good it looks pretty good I might call in the services of a uh, cotton bud to remove a bit of the orange from that right side, my right side, I'll show you in a sec. Uh, where 
I'm just talking and you're like, what is he doing? We can't see. All we can see is a white thing that looks a bit dirty. Well, that's basically what it is, to, to be honest. That's basically the whole model. Wow. Just uh, cleaning out some of the rust that's mm -hmm. just gone a bit too... I really want the rust to be modulating. I don't want like an orange tone because orange doesn't look like dirt and like brown and black where we're, we're kind of just rubbing that in. It doesn't look like... Um, <clears throat> it doesn't look like dirt. So we don't want that to just be like blended in most, like smudged in most of the time. So what I didn't really do on the other one is actually go back and sort of clean out some areas, try and create some more brighter whites in some uh, in some places. Clean off a bit of the uh, the grime and um, have some of the original colours showing through because if you go too much with it then uh, you won't know what it used to look like. And if you can only see dirt then you it just looks like you've painted a grey thing or a black thing or a brown thing. Which you don't want. So that's a no no. So there's that, uh, there's that face pretty much done, I think. Let's see, is that focusing at all? Kind of. Yeah, that looks alright. Nice and grimy. We're doing it. <clears throat> Should probably just create a stream projector so I'm not waiting for the stream to catch up to see what's going on. Hello Chi, welcome. You made it. You made it to Bristol. Sorry, is that dogs? Person dogs people. You made it to undisclosed location. Right, well that'll do for that face. So we move on to the next one. Ah, it's gonna be difficult because the other one has the bars. I can't stand it up. The bars. Maybe we'll just try this one instead. <laughs> Redacted location. Not 
Nice. The paint's actually dried on them. Oh, right, the black is the hardest bit. The black do be the hard bit. Is it watered down enough this time to not be a nightmare? Well, it's actually completely dried out. Unsurprisingly, really, given how um, given how uh, it's performed thus far, it is dried out on the palette, making it super runny this time. It will obey me. I will make it obey. Crisp. Oh yeah, too fair mix. I was going to say it's like water, but not quite. Oh, my neck. Oh, gets it old. All right, standard procedure. Couple of lobs. Oh, this is very runny this time. It's be very interesting to see how this goes. Before I do any more, I might just try and see what that looks like, in case it looks a bit too, a bit too much. Let's give it a bit of quick dry because it's, uh, you can see, but it's kind of like looks like an ink blot on like a white piece of paper at the moment. Uh, it's not gonna focus in, but you can probably imagine what an ink blot looks like. Yeah, it actually looks fine, to be honest. It's smudged in. Um, it's actually still being quite stubborn and not going beyond its sort of original boundaries too much. So maybe just not even not even attempt to do any drying at all and just, just go straight for it. I should use smaller blobs though, I think. Just uh, rub that in. Oops, that's not gone super well, if I'm honest. And it's not really doing anything. All right, what was the brush they got rid of it? I think it was this one last time. It worked really well at just removing it, basically. Uh, let's just try doing that. I was going to try and blend it upwards into the seam, but that's not really worked at all. Okay, it's got a mess now.
Yeah, yeah, the red uh, definitely, definitely going to ruin that red. It's far too bright. It's going to go under the same weathering process as everything else. It's just uh, figured I'd do the um, the walls first. Um, and then I'll work my way up to the roof because I'm kind of holding on. I'm kind of using the roof to uh, hold at the moment, which isn't best. Ideal, but oh, damn, I can't believe how stubborn this black is. It's crazy. It just doesn't want to budge. Complicated. After applying it with a lot of white spirit, eventually it decides to. Eventually it will come around and start doing what you tell me, but it does take a lot. And sometimes it just doesn't do anything at all. Fair enough. The old, uh, yeah, the old, the classic thing when you move out. Although, I know you're not moving out, but it's like this mug, this one. My mum was like, oh, just take take a bunch of mugs. It's like, well, I don't really, I mean, I only really need one mug. Or like, maybe a couple of mugs. <laughs> so I left with with like 10 mugs. How much, fuck you, how much, how many mugs do you think I need to use, like, a day? And also, mugs are pretty easy to clean. I think it's more that she just wanted to get rid of them. Just disguised it as a, as a gift. Oh, let me give you all these mugs. Yeah, take them. Yeah, they'll be really helpful. Chuckles with glee as she sees me leave with all the crap mugs he's not wanted for years. Why do you own 25 mugs? Possibly, what poss possible reason would you need for 25 mugs? If it wasn't for painting, I could honestly live with one. Like, I, I, I just drink black coffee, so whenever I want to put more coffee in, I just wash out the old coffee. And then just put more coffee in it. Oh, finally got rid of those blob shapes, and now we've got a bit more of a smudge, more of a blend. T rave. It sounds awful, to be honest. I mean, my housemate insists on using one mug per drink uh even if he's drinking just coffee so he'll get to the end of the day and he's used like four mugs for one type of drink which i think is just it's just ridiculous but it do be like that Do be like that. Oh, pass. Yeah, exactly, Jones. Exactly. Classic. 
Classic Paul's behaviour. Being a big. Quady. Oh, I don't know, mate. Maybe, uh, maybe after you follow the channel. <laughs> I don't. You might already be followed. To be fair, thanks if you are already followed. Appreciate it. But yeah, this is uh, this would be great for Necromunda too. Look at this grime, my boy. Look at this grime. Looks nice and fucking shit. Are oh, you already followed? Nice one. Cheers, Quaid. Appreciate it. Look at that. Looks fucking disgusting. Disgusting. What are you on about, James? Inventory Manager 2021. Is this a joke I'm not getting? Is this an inside reference? Is that a meme? You know, the, is this is this a bird gif dot gif dot image dot jpeg dot meme? Well, the only game Quaid plays, Inventory Manager. Is that real? Is that true, Quaid? Is that true? Got to keep your, uh, got to keep your inventories managed. Although that is my least favorite part of any game, when you have to like, ooh, I'm gonna put, ooh, I'm gonna put these in this chest, and then I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna transfer this to this. It's like, please, game, please let me just play the game. Don't make me organize. I don't organize in real life, let alone in video games. Uh, I think the side needs a bit more black, actually. Oh, what is going on with this paint? Whoa. Uh, I keep using that brush when I shouldn't be. Big Boris, the big ruiner. I think actually everything go back to normal is going to be it's like June, right? At the earliest. It's going to be a long time till Big Boris stops ruining. But, you know... Got my uh, got my COVID vaccine next Friday, I think. Or maybe the f yeah, next Friday. So uh, I'm gonna be fucking immune, boys. I'm gonna be immune. You can all suck it. You got one as well, button, right? It's fucking. It's weird, man. Like are you having yours done? Are you having yours done at the surgery in uh, Don's Le Village. Or you haven't done somewhere else. Yeah, like two thirty. Um Yeah, uh it's weird that like we're having our my parents are having theirs on the same day. And they're like late 50s it's weird that 
they're not higher. We're on the same like list, and you're not even asked, Matt. You've got like nothing wrong with you. Well, well, I mean, at least nothing wrong with your lungs. Let's just say that, shall we? Uh, Oh, really? Wow. I didn't realise they would they would uh, go that like go into that much detail. But even still, like my dad's nearly only a few years from sixty. I know I have no idea what the classifications of the groups are because I'm asthmatic. So, um, but my dad's also asthmatic, and he's nearly sixty, and he's only just getting his the same day I get mine. I mean, I say nearly 60, he's like, I don't know, 57, late 50s. I'm sure he doesn't see it as being nearly 60, but... I'm not even 30. Yeah. Eric Jones. I think that's as much progress as I'm going to make with the black. It, uh, it don't want to do nothing. Like, it's horrible smudge in the top right that I don't like. There's, I put, I did way too much there, but everywhere else it looks, it looks pretty good. Little Eric Jones. It's not all medical conditions, so it's like just lungs, like respiratory, and I guess heart stuff. So I guess it it depends what you got, obviously. Oops, might put a bit too much uh, white spirit on that boy. Blob this one in, ever in there. An immu uh, immune system, anything that affects the immune system, obviously, would make you higher priority. Right. Actually, that's probably the main. The main thing is the immune system stuff is like number one priority. But uh, yeah. Man, the brown, so much easier. So much easier to feather in. I took like two minutes. The black, for some reason, is just like, nope, I refuse to move. You're going to have to fucking use every in implement in your fucking book to do that. So that's, that's two different colours on, so you see there's a bit of variation in like the tone of like the dirt or whatever. Can you really see, see that? Oh yeah, there you go. You see the brown and the black contrasting a little bit. Different kind, different types of dirt. Yeah, lovely. Then we'll do old, old speckly do with the old corrosion, the typhus corrosion.
Time to apply our chips. Chips. All of chips me. They're a bit smudgy. Need to be more careful. Okay, maybe I need to get more paint off. Why are you smudging so much this one? Oops. Oh, that completely disappeared. That's a bit of as crap, obviously. Let's <clears> try <throat> a different bit. Maybe I'll just try one of these smaller bits that I already tore off. Yeah, that's what was the best bit for me though. <clears> that's <throat> a bit annoying. Very light with it. 